rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invitation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials. Grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Allen? Here. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Ms. Stravich? Here. Rindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Warren? Here. Good to see everybody here again tonight. We need to approve the minutes of the City Council meeting on March 20th. Is there a motion? Motion. Support. What's been made and support? Is there any discussion on those minutes? Be not. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Move on to audience comments, which we have no audience this evening other than our attorney for uh, our closed session. Unless you would like me to come to you, <laughs> then I will just. I'll bide my time. Okay, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Clark. Uh, we move on to adoption of agenda. Uh, Mr. City Manager, any changes? No changes. City Council, any changes? If not, a motion to accept the agenda as presented would be in order. Motion. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion? Be not. All in favor say aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. <clears throat> Is there a motion for the consent agenda? I make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion been made and supported. Is there any discussion on? I'm sorry, there is no discussion on the consent agenda. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. All right, we move on to items for consideration this evening, which we have three. The first one being consideration of school board reading, uh, school board. There go the glasses again. Consideration of the second reading and adoption of ordinance number 156-18, rezoning of property on Stone and Park from RT to R3 and R3 to PSP. Getting tongue tied. Mr. City Manager. <laughs> Council is scheduled to give second reading and adopt ordinance 156-18, which will amend the official zoning map and rezones approximately 0.8 acres of property from two-family residential and R3 single-family residential to public semi-public. Uh, the properties that we're discussing tonight are uh, 69372 Stone, 36,000 Park Street, and 36... 082 Park Street. These are the properties that the city and TIFA recently purchased across the street from Bailey Park to the south, uh, and we're looking to expand uh, the park use across into these properties. Uh, we did the introduction and first reading at our last meeting, so this is the second reading and adoption of this. Thank you. Is there a motion? I make the motion to give second reading and adopt ordinance 156-18, which amends the official zoning map and changes the zoning of properties located at 69372 Stone, 3600 Park, and 36082 Park from RT, two-family residential, and R3, single-family residential, to PSP, public, semi-public. Support. Most been made and supported. Any discussion? <coughs> Has there been any uh, public input since the first reading? No. Okay. Any other comments? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number two is consideration of the second reading and adoption of ordinance number 162, Southeastern Michigan Gas Energy Franchise, Mr. City Manager. The city's current franchise with Semco Energy expires July 11, 2018. The fr franchise provides Semco with permission to provide natural gas to residents. Uh, the city has previously entered into franchise agreements with Semco and is required under the city charter this is a non-exclusive franchise agreement, meaning that if another natural gas company came in, uh, we could do an agreement with them as well. 
Um, but uh, pretty much every 30 years uh, this comes up. The city uh, previously passed ordinances that adopted the franchise agreement in 1958 and 1988. So they're a little, about a year ahead of schedule. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the second reading and adoption of ordinance number 162-SEMCO Energy Franchise. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion on this? As John said, it's a non-exclusive. The charter doesn't allow exclusive franchises. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number three is consider consideration of establishing a city manager evaluation committee. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider establishing the ad hoc city manager's review committee. Uh, the last city manager review committee was established on March 21st, 2016. Uh, I became acting city manager on November 27th, 2005 and became city manager March 1st, 2006. Uh, the previous committee was made up of councilors Lafour, Yarick, and Mayor Pro Tem Mistrovich. Thank you, sir. If council would suspend the rules, we can talk about this before the motion's made. Is it all right? Yes. Everybody? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, Dennis, are you good to go again? I'm good. Michael, mm -hmm. you're good to go okay. again. We had a brief. Uh, not of the heads or consensus or whatever. Um, I will step into it if, uh, if need be. It's been a number of years since I've uh, done it. We we'll let other people on council do it, but um, this year we can do it. And, uh, okay. Have at it. All right. We're back. Uh, is there a motion? I make a motion to establish the Ad Hoc City Manager Review Committee for the purposes of coordinating the annual performance evaluation of the City Manager and reviewing the City Manager's employment agreement and making recommendations to the City Council on changes in the compensation package provided to the City Manager with the committee to expire on June 30, 2017 with the following councilors appointed to serve on the committee, um, Michael Mastrovich, Dennis LaFour, and Mayor Tim Ricks. Support. Most been made and supported. Any discussion? Being not. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Moving on to city manager's comments, sir. Uh, due to a lack of agenda items, the planning commission meeting next week will be canceled. Uh, the planner talked to me about it today. Uh, tomorrow, yard waste begins, and then uh, I think it's April 21st is the elected officials forum. Any council members uh, that are uh, would like me to register them uh, for that event, just get a hold of me, send me an email. Uh, I know some are go through other organizations they're involved in, but uh, if you would like me to register, you uh, let me know. I know one is already uh, Mike has asked me to, and so. Uh, I'll take care of that. Uh, just let me know if you're going. Very good. Moving on to council comments. Dennis? Oh, I'm good for tonight. Rob? All set. John? All set. Emily? Nothing tonight, thank you. Nothing tonight, sir. Michael? Nothing either. This is going to be a quickie tonight, huh? <laughs> 709. Uh, I'll do the calendar real quick. Uh, whatever, I won't duplicate what, or reiterate what the city manager has already said. Uh, we do have spring break all the, this week uh, from the school, so please be careful. Uh, the kids are going to be out there. 10.30 a.m. this Saturday, the 8th, is the Easter Egg Scramble at BB Park. And as we have said before, you want to get there early so that you definitely have a spot around the circle. Uh, I've seen many a kid... <laughs> not make it quite in time over the years and uh, um, you really want to be there early find a good parking spot and uh, get in get around the circle there before uh, they blow the whistle there to start uh, library board will meet on the 10th at the uh, library the cable commission will meet on the 11th here at City Hall at 7 o'clock the um, City Hall will be closed on Good Friday the 14th and reopen on Monday the 17th. And we wish everybody a, a very blessed uh, and happy Easter holiday. 
The City Council will be meeting again on the 17th at 5.30 for the first budget workshop. We will then meet at 7 o'clock here at City Hall for the regular City Council meeting. And if necessary, uh, after the City Council regular meeting is over with, we will reconvene into our budget uh, workshop that same evening. Is there anything else? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a few more things here. The Lois Wagner Memorial Library will have an after school Easter program on Tuesday, April 11th from 4 to 5. Uh, it is a registration required, space is limited, and it's for K through 5th grade. There's going to be an Easter egg hunt in the library, egg decorating, and take home a surprise. Uh, if you have questions, call the library at 727 2665. Smiles on Wheels is being presented at the Richmond Community Center on Wednesday, April 12th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. There's a typo on it says 10 p.m. Okay. to 1 p.m. So I'm assuming it's going to be 10 a.m. instead yes. of 1 a.m. Yep. So. <laughs> so anyhow, that's free oral health screening for 65 years and older at the Community Center. And there'll be uh, various screening and uh, showing you uh, certain health uh, issues that uh, can help with the, uh, the mouth there. Uh, Friends of Lois Wagner Memorial Library will have a spring books and more sale April 19th through the 22nd. Uh, there is a preview night on Wednesday. Uh, would, would be the date there, Michael? Wednesday, if this is 19 through 22, so Wednesday. Oh, that's the first evening. Um, <laughs> that makes sense, huh? Uh, Wednesday the 19th from 4 to 7 p.m. is a preview night at the library. It's $5 to enter and there'll be free refreshments. And then Thursday and Friday is 9 to 4.30, Saturdays 10, to 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And uh, that would be bag sale day and uh, fill a bag for $2. This is all uh, uh, monies that will go towards the operation of the Lois Wagner Memorial Library and uh, uh, brought to you by the Friends of the Library, a very good group that does a lot for our library. Is there anything else we need to add to the calendar? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, just one more thing. Mm -hmm. On the, our next meeting night on the 17th, um, our city manager has been uh, giving us updates, but our representative, uh, Jeff Yarick, will okay. be having open hours over at the community center starting at no, 5. At the community room here. Oh, community Just room here. Next door. Yeah. Room. Yeah. Community room here at 5.30. And then I ran into him at the MML conference and also at the SEMCOG General Assembly meeting, and he'll be uh, attending our council meeting too, so if people wanted to talk with him. Okay. With any issues they have at the uh, state level, uh, please come on out. Very good. Okay, uh, we move on. We do have a closed session this evening. We need a motion to go into closed session. Is there a motion? I make a motion to convene and then do closed session in coordinates with Section 8D of the Michigan Open Meetings Act, Public Act 267, 1976, as amended, to consider the purchase or lease of real property. Support. Most been made and supported. Is there any discussion? Being not, roll call, please. Green. Yes. LaFour? Yes. Ms. Stravich? Yes. Rindell? Yep. Ricks? Yes. Warren? Yes. Allen? Yes. Motion passes. We'll go directly into closed session. <laughs> <laughs>